some Dolly business to share with you today. So I've got a few um, little makeovers and things that I've done. I've got some Dolly clothes try-ons. I've got a couple of skippers to open and I've got a big parcel. So let's open the skippers first. I've got these two. I got these while I was on holiday from TK Maxx. They were $7.99 each. Um, they're the Babysitter's Ink ones. So there's her, she comes with her phone and then there's little cardboard cutouts at the back there and a little baby bottle as well. Let's get her out. One of the reasons I wanted to open these is because I wanted to try them in the Bratzilla outfits just to show you how, how or if they fit. So she has one bent arm and one straight. She has the five points of articulation. She's somehow she's got her hair elastic to her body. Yeah. She has quite sort of mid-length brown hair. It comes sort of down to her waist and is layered at the bottom there. She's got pretty brown eyes. She's got a pink, that's just an elastic, I think, in her hair. And pink lips. She's wearing a pink, blue and purple dress with stars on. She's got her little phone there with a the baby on it and she's got on her purple boots and then on the back of the box you get little bits you can they pop out you can see that they pop out so she's got like a little iPad there there's a little baby toy they do pop out quite easily so I suppose you know they're worth keeping aren't they there's a, a slice of or there's a sandwich or some bread there with a bite taken out of it and there's a little baby bottle and they all have the little handles on so she can actually hold them so that was that girl and then we've got this one she's a bit of a darker skin tone and I think she's got shorter hair we'll see but she's got some different accessories with her she's got a pizza and a little phone and she's got a notebook with her let's get her open and have a look so here's this girl out of her box. She has a stripy top and flowery shorts. She's the same as the other one, but her skin tone is slightly darker. She has a beauty mark under her lip. She's got the same brown eyes and pink lips. Her hair is, is the same length and it is layered also, but it's not curly. This one seems to have curled up a bit. Yeah, she needs something doing with that hair, I think. She's got her phone there with a the baby on it. She's got on her pink flat shoes, like plimsolls. And she comes with this little pink bottle, this little list, and a pizza. She also comes with this toy. Now this toy, I was looking at this with my daughter the other day in the toy store and I said to her, but our, you know, my grandchildren don't know what this sort of phone is. They've never had one, have they? So they're not going to know what it is, are they? What they need is a mobile phone. Yeah, I don't know what, whether you agree with me or not, but yeah, I suppose it's a vintage toy, isn't it? Yeah, I guess it's a vintage style toy. Maybe that's it. I don't know. Maybe it's just me being daft, eh? Right, so let's try. I'm going to try this one on because this is the one that Lisa and Astra liked. So Lisa and Astra, I'm trying this one on her because I know you like this one best. So I'm just going to try it on this one with the shorts on. So I've got it on her and it looks okay from the front, but you can see at the back here, it, it won't do up. It's done up at the top because I've stretched it across, but no, they don't fit Skipper, I'm afraid. So she must be bigger than the Hasbro doll, which has surprised me. Yeah. No, they don't fit the Skipper, I'm afraid. Um, she's too big in the body for it. I think it's because Skipper doesn't have a waist and the and the Bratzillas do, that's what it must be. But I can't I can't get it done up at all. And I honestly thought that would fit her because I thought she was a similar size to the Hasbro Princess doll, but clearly I was wrong about that. So that's cleared that up, eh? It doesn't fit our skipper. Sorry, Skip, don't fit your duck. So next we're gonna have a look at a few makeovers and things I've done and try-ons. So this is a little this is a little BJD I got from AliExpress and she came with no clothes on and I found that this little outfit fitted her 
And this was a cheapy Chelsea outfit from, is it Chelsea? Yeah, it's a cheapy Chelsea outfit that I got in a pack of five outfits from eBay. And they were really cheap, about three pounds for the five outfits, something like that. But because it's stretchy, it fits her really well. Yeah, it really does fit her nicely. So that was her. Then the Paolo Rayner doll, I showed you her the other day. I showed you her the other day, or she's coming up in a future video. <laughs> um, I found that these shoes from AliExpress fitted her, but they came with really long white laces. So what I did was I took the white laces out and I've threaded in some, I think it's called string ribbon, and I've just uh, um, made the laces a lot smaller and I've melted the ends of them so that they don't fray. So that's what I did with that. Then I tried the Bratzilla outfits on a Descendants doll as asked by Maria's Dollwood. So Maria, here's the doll I was I tried it on. I tried it on Lonnie. You can see that she's got it on. The skirt fits her okay. It does up at the back all right and so does the top. But the top is a bit tight and a tad short. The skirt's fine. It does up at the back. The shoes fit her. But I couldn't get on the trousers. The trousers wouldn't go up her legs. No, her thighs were too thick to fit at the top. But yeah, the skirt and that fitted her okay. The skirt and top did. So that was Lonnie. Then Kelvin Pittman asked me to try the outfits on a Monster High and they fit her really well. Um, if anything, the top is a little bit loose. But yeah, I think she looks really good in that. The colours suit her as well and even the shoes fit. So that was really good. Yeah, so that's our Venus. She's even got the hat on. Yeah, I think that suits her really well. So that's Venus. So we know that the shoes fit Monster High and Descendants. Another thing I did was I recently bought one of these Poopsie Unicorn Surprise things and you get with it a syringe. And what I've done, I've cut, cut the end off the syringe and poked it up into the, into the bottom. So it now makes a quite nice drinks can for your doll with a straw in it that's what I thought nice sort of size for this this sort of size doll or the or the 18 inch dolls isn't it she can have a little can of pop if she wants to yeah <laughs> and then another doll who's had a makeover is this girl I felt really sorry for these dolls and I got two of them for five pounds on eBay when I got her she ha I'll pop a picture of her in so you can see but this is my made over version of her. I've made her a little dress and I've made her some new socks and I've painted her face. I'm not very good at face painting but this is my effort at repainting her face because her eyes were yellow so I, I painted over them because it wasn't doing her any favours bless her and I've stuck this to her head using double sided sticky tape. I just made a little bow put a little bit of double sided sticky tape on the back and and popped it on her head so that if, if and when I want to remove it, it it'll be easy to remove so that was that and so finally let's get to the package I'm not sure what's in here as is my usual style I've forgotten what I've ordered <laughs> okay so let's see what's in our parcel it's quite heavy I've sort of got an idea what it is but I'm not sure if it is what I think it is it's came really quickly a blue bag oh it is what i thought it was wow but do you know that's came ever so quickly so it is the lovely teen trends kiana um i got both of these dolls for 14 pounds so 14 pounds for the two and they both have all the outfit on they've got the shoes the jeans the top and the jacket really pleased to get her i mean she does need a good clean and she needs a hairdoing but Oh, look at her face. She's filthy, the poor girl is. Anyway, I'm not worried. I'm just delighted to have her. This one has had a haircut and a little bit of a redo of her makeup. But like I say, I got them both for £14, so I'm not too worried. She's got her whole outfit on. Yeah, so once they've had a bit of a scrub and had the hair done, they're going to be great, aren't they? Yeah. Someone's really gone to town on her face, but yeah, she'll be all right. And she has had a haircut. You can see someone's uh, 
but I'm not worried. I'd have paid £14 just for one of them, so I'm delighted with those. So that was my dolly business for today. I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.